Hey guys, my name is Tanya and I'm just a girl that makes a living thrifting and sometimes reselling can get a little lonely. So you need some of these. Say hi. The famous, the famous Chris reseller. <laughs> yep, they're my friends. <laughs> famous. I don't know about that. Famous. Oh, uh, look at her hugging. She's I, hugging. I, I'm giving hugs. Oh, she's a hugger? <laughs> See, ha, ha. I don't know why. Hi, hi. Hi. Oh Lord! Don't be texting me, telling me you're too tired. <laughs> yes, we yeah. were talking about that the No. Oh, it's quiet in here, and we're loud. <laughs> they take. Oh, they change them all. Yeah. Sweet. I'm not even grabbing the basket. I'm just supposed to. Dude, that's amazing. I'm getting my basket. <laughs> These people aren't crazy here. I'm getting my basket. Jeez. No, they take them in the back. There's some double doors. Look, I'm watching right now. Hey, mine. I'm allowed to film at this one. Yeah, we are. I already asked. Yeah. You actually asked Someone's permission? No, I asked um, Victoria. Uh, she said we could. <laughs> Ask your permission, is Victoria? Yeah, Victoria, because she's been <laughs> yeah, here more than it. me. We go through two doors and one door. No. I know there's a ton of people here. I was surprised. Well, they're just running in. Oh, because yeah. they just switched the bins. Here, I'll hold it. <laughs> mm hmm. Try it on. Might be for a baby, but I bet it fits. Oh God. You're a toddler size. She's toddler size, just lamb. She said it's not gonna okay, fit me. but I do got hips. Okay. That's okay, you just gotta get it over your booty and then you're fine. Woo. This elastic ain't gonna hold up. <laughs> nope. 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 All right, dang it. Nope. I thought but, I had you something you know, to I love the confidence that yeah, you thought I could I did, I for sure did. I love the confidence you had in that. I did. guys. Thrifting was kind of a bust here at Jackson at the bins, but I only got a few items, but let me tell you, just hanging out with everybody was totally worth the drive, but I'm going to show you what I did end up picking up here real fast. It was just a few pieces. I grabbed this Nick and Nora. How adorable is this little Frenchie? And it's a one piece. Look, check out the feet. How stinking cute. And of course it says Nick and Nora on the buttons. Oh my goodness, I love that. Now these one pieces don't do as well as the two pieces, but hey, I mean, who can pass up a Frenchie? Then of course I had to grab this for my husband. It's brand new with tags and it says, what? This is my Halloween costume. Yeah, I had to grab it. It was new with tags. I couldn't help myself. And then I did pick this up. It's a hunter safety system tether strap. It's the secondary tree strap. So I did look this up on eBay while I was in there. It does look like it does okay, especially for picking it up at the bins. Now I only paid $10 for everything. So that's very, very good. Normally I don't pick up Talbots, but I do whenever it has cute little prints on sweaters. I've always had really good luck with that. And what else do we have here? But another little Frenchie. So I don't expect that this will hang around. It is getting warmer out, but if I get this listed pretty soon, maybe I will get lucky and sell it soon. And the funny thing is, is I've been finding this brand a lot, Pilcro and the Letter Press. I grabbed these because they are cropped and they're colored and they were in really good condition. So I did go ahead and pick these up. I do think that these are going to do fairly well. I did look at comps and they didn't look too bad. This is a really pretty coral color and it looks like it has a built-in like embroidery belt. Really nice. No need for a belt with these. Last but not least, I picked up these American Eagle. I picked them up because they're green. They have a military look, a utility look, and that is super popular right now. 
and I believe they're the next level. Nope, they're the super stretch, which is even better. And they are a size 18 short, great size. These will be super cute with some boots or with some sandals, either one. Great, great spring piece. And that was it for the Jackson bins. We are gonna go get some lunch. Max in Jesse's car. <laughs> we used it on we mine too. I, I squirted it. It went Hi. to the ceiling. There's going to be one checker separate. 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 We're going to be a big pain in the butt. Yes. Sorry. This is what happens whenever you try to bring your phone up to the dessert bar. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Look, check out Jesse's room. I'm super jealous. Look at her freaking view. There is the dang. I want to go out there where that TV is. Oh, and it said you got four guests. Look, she's got a nice view of the back bay. Yeah. So nice. Oh, can we see my house from here? Because Tim just said nice. Got a room, can almost see our house. <laughs> so he must be able to, he must think we can see from here. This is nice. I like your view. It's hard, but I like it. Oh, that's what she said. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Day two at America's Thrift Store, and I just found this TV for $14.99. I have to check it out to see if it works, but it's looking pretty good so far. I think I'm going to get it. Okay, this is everything else that I grabbed from the thrift store, too. So you all saw that I checked out the Disney TV. I did get that, obviously. I did grab this vintage Wranglers vest. It's women's. Super cool. Paid $5.69. Probably going to ask around 40 for this at least. And then I grabbed this. Um, it's a Star Wars shirt. I'm not even going to try to say it. But I paid $4.99 for it. And I saw a couple of these that were brand new that were selling for over 40 So I figured I'd do pretty well with it pre-owned. And it's in very, very good condition. And first thing I grabbed when I walked through the door was Loudmouth. Love selling Loudmouth shorts. If you can ever find these, pick them up. Doesn't really matter the style. They will always sell and do very well. And I paid $6.69 for these. I did grab this belt. I do believe that this is real turquoise in there. If you've all ever seen this before, let me know. But I'm pretty sure that it is. I was going to get it no matter what because the belt is made in Mexico and it is genuine leather and it has a great pattern on it. And I only paid $3.99 for this. And I just grabbed this cute little uh, hanging thing for my entryway. I like it. It's only four bucks. Super cute. Manfrotto is a brand name that you need to know. If you see this in tripod stands, you should definitely look it up. It is a great uh, brand to resell and it's high dollar as well. This is just the bag only. I paid $3.99 for it and this bag should sell for over $30 just for the bag. And I grabbed this bag of stuff. You know I love the uh, wall of the baggies. I paid $2.99 for this baggie. And the reason that I picked it up was because I saw this right here in the baggie. There's a pair of women's Oakleys in here. So I will definitely do well with those. I did take them out of the baggie already. And they're still in really good condition. Got to clean them up, obviously. That's pretty normal. But for $3 for this whole baggie. Plus there's a brand new pair of sunglasses in here as well. You can't go wrong with that. Now we're going to eat. Right. Everybody's got to film their food. That's Alicia's. Oh, yeah. Look, she got a You guys are going to be watching too. the same thing on everyone's video. I know. <laughs> Check it out, everybody's food. Mm -mm -mm. Everybody's filming. Yum. <laughs> Big time diet. Look, I bet all that stuff's furry up there. Maybe these sunflowers will bring me some luck. Yeah. Let's hope. I hope they're still like rotating the bins even though we're here after lunch. Well, they stop at four, I think. Stop doing bins? Yeah. Or I three or four, because I came here one time uh -huh. and, and that's when they stopped. Well, let's hope. I mean, Alicia's waiting for the good stuff. We're hoping that it goes like right in there. Because we don't have anything yet. Yeah, everybody's a little slow over there. Mm -hmm. We're still waiting. We haven't got anything. <laughs> no. 
Come on, bring the good stuff. There's like zero shoes. No shoes yet. What'd you get, Jesse? Eight pounds even. Dang. Dang. Eight pounds. Look, guess what? Guess how many pounds Alicia and I got? Big goose egg. Zero. Zero pounds today. I better find something good at this one. Uh, yeah, for real. I'm just saying becoming sad man that sun on my back i know it's toasty it's Jeez. only like 82 check out this sticker shock that i had scoping out just this regular sweatshirt holy moly then i came across this sweatshirt super excited for a minute here but no super fake super fake all right, here's all the stuff I'm going to end up putting back that I had gotten. I did grab these Keens when I first walked in, but this pair right here is all coming apart in the front. So I'm not going to take those because I'm not about to try to fix these. Sometimes I pick up this brand, Boutique by Corky's, but these they want uh, $7 for, and I probably only get like $27 for them, so I'm not going to get those either. These? These are Nike Soccer uh, cleats, I believe, or soccer shoes, and I thought these would, um, be worth a lot more than they are, but these things are only selling on eBay for, like, $25 and less in a lot of instances, so definitely not picking these up. I was pretty shocked about that, and I looked up this fishing vest, and it's just not worth picking up either. These shorts... These are pretty cool, but this pattern is very oversaturated and they wanted five bucks and I would maybe get 20. So I'm going to pass on those. And this makes me super sad because this is my favorite brand, AFCO, and they were five bucks, but they are dry rotted all in here. And then they have some staining over here and red is probably the hardest color to sell out of all the AFCOs, in my opinion, what I've found so far. So... I'm not going to be grabbing these, but let's go see what I am going to get. Gray is 50% off today, so that's why I'm picking up these. So they're going to be $4, but these are Roan shorts, men's shorts. So I'm going to grab these. This is a Peter Millar polo, and it's Travis stock cup. So I'm not sure if that's going to really hurt the value a whole lot of it, but it's only $2.99, so definitely grabbing that what happened I'm going to men's restroom. are you serious do not recommend <laughs> i grabbed this uh polo it's brand new Free with polo. tags right here and i am gonna pay ten dollars for it but it's i'm pretty sure it's gonna do pretty well with that color blocking and i grabbed this one too this is like the rugby style it's got the number one on the sleeve and the big pony and it's new with tags and I am going to pay $10 for this one too. They just put both of these out on the floor and normally I don't pick up coochie pants, but look at that pattern. I mean, that is just crazy, crazy pattern. So I am definitely going to pick these up. I'm pretty excited to see how well these do and they're a size 38, 34, which is a great size. It's not too big. Usually you find it and it's like extremely large and I am going to pay $12.99 for these. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to ask for them just yet, but I found this pattern was just pretty awesome in my opinion. What do y'all think? Would you have picked these up? And that's it for me for what I am grabbing. So just these few items. Oh, there went the pants. <laughs> Just these few items right here is all that's going home with me. Oh, it is storming so bad today. We are actually thrifting in our town, my town, Biloxi, and Victoria's town. That's where we live. I'm meeting them here at the Goodwill. I'm hoping there's not going to be a bunch of people out because it is storming super hardcore. Y'all are going to see us pretty jacked up today with hats on. Ah! Where were you guys parked? You just right got behind it. You. Oh hell yeah! Okay, I'm on my way. <laughs> I guess I'll find. Yeah. You. So I got these for myself. Probably gonna wear on the Fourth of July. 
I love is them. That, is this is for you too, Tanya, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's not for, yeah, these are totally for me. Hey, my face can fit Actually, in Actually, I couldn't even get both my of my whole, boobs in one cup. My, yeah. Yeah, too, they would they be would too be, big. Yeah. I would have a gap. Yeah. Yeah, those are insane. Alicia found me this. Well, Victoria found it for me. Okay. That thing has been passed around. Oh, okay, good. Well, then I ended up with it. I took all the losers, so I'm the last person <laughs> to take it. Yeah, she offered it yeah. to you. Yeah, see, they offered it to everybody but me. And who ends up taking it? Me. It, you know, and, and it's what? a miracle suit, though, with no size tag. But so my big butt's going to try it this on. I'll be able different. to figure it out. This is different. This T-strap I like kind this. Of thing, I like that. I bet you're going to get at least 50 for that. Probably. I just sold a miracle suit that didn't even have the straps with it. So it just yeah. ended up being like the bandu Strapless type. And it's still sold? It's still sold on Poshmark. She was stoked to get it. I took this Chico's because it's new with tags. I might have. It's okay if it's in there. I did find a Jessica McClintock, but it's velvet and it is sleeveless, but we'll see. It's a long one. It'll still do fair. I did buy Joie, which I never buy, but the only reason I bought it is because it's new with tags and it's cute as crap. So it's a little crop and this little weird material, everybody's, I don't know, everything's getting made out of that. Found a pair of cool pants. They do have a flaw though. So they have like some nicks in the pant leg, but people wear these hiking and stuff and I'm gonna get them anyway. So I don't think it's really gonna matter that much. I did get this uh, Spanx assets for myself. This is a vintage um, Gilead. I'm probably gonna ask around 40 bucks for this one. It's really pretty. They're not being quiet over yes. there. Yeah. I'm sorry. We're just. Nope, we're, it's fine. Mm -hmm. we're I get to it. Cover up the music. I oh yeah. Oh, there isn't any you playing. How loud the music is right now. So this is the first time, believe it or not, I've ever found frame, and the sell through rate, to be honest, sucks. But I'm gonna go ahead and pick them up because I think they're cute. But we'll see. I, I looked them up. Skinny. Did you? Well, I just looked at the sell through rate and it was terrible. Really? Yes. Uh, these are DL 1961, but this right here, the Emma, Emma sells really good and it sells for 40 plus. So I'm going to grab these and this could be my banger. I'm not real sure, but look at that. Deion Sanders, everybody and their freaking brother love Deion Sanders. Even if, even if they didn't like the Cowboys, they still love Deion Sanders. He's super hot right now. There was no way that I was leaving this here and I'm paying 15 bucks for it. And it's a Mitchell and Ness 3X. Amazing. And last but not least, I'm picking up this book right here. I always scan these types of books when I come in. It's super fast and easy. When I scan this one, it sold for 135 bucks. And the other three that are available, they're trying to sell for more than that. So when I list mine today, that's what I'm gonna list it at. 135. Stopped at El Satillo for lunch. Alicia and I got the mine? same thing except for I got all the cheese. She got zero cheese. If y'all don't know that about Alicia, you really should. She doesn't eat cheese. I tried to like say who that. doesn't eat cheese? This don't. Girl. I'm gonna get roasted. She doesn't I tried eat to say cheese. That on Paul doesn't Pye, eat cheese. Nope. What'd you get? Fajita salad? Yes, you I want did. Um, <gasps> she wants your guac, I guarantee it. You, you don't yeah. want that? Look, no, look I at her. Like look at her. She's all over it. She said, Yes, I want that well, right I didn't now. Know if you it she said, Let me get a chip. Yeah, I'm gonna get all of it. Just when you're done with it, I'll take it because I don't have any extra room. She got the fajita nachos. Yum. Left the Mexican restaurant right down there, and now we're headed right on into America's thrift store. All right, this is all I'm gonna be getting from here today. I love buying these kind of hats because I feel like they're hard to find for people. It's only $1.99. I'm gonna grab these men's Nike golf pants for six bucks. I always do really well with those. Just look for this and then you'll know. And I'm gonna pay $6.99. I already tested it while I was up there. It's a JVC VCR DVD combo. And I'll probably get around 60 or so for this. But that's gonna be it, I'm pretty sure, for my haul from here. Me too. You better not left it in the car. Thrift store number three so far. Is there a baby in there? A couple babies in there. All right, I'm only grabbing a couple things here. I am going to get these Crocs because they're only $3.99. I've sold these multiple times. They usually sell for around $25. 
they are dirty but i can clean them i'm gonna get these vintage made in the usa advantage camo pants they're only 3.99 some of these sell for a lot of money this is the green oak pattern these will probably sell believe it or not for around 40 or more i did get a pair of brand new with tags levi's rib cage straight this is the popular ones that are selling right now i am going to pay 7.99 for those and this is my favorite work pant to sell and that is 511 and i grabbed two pairs of these one in the olive green and one in the tan and they're both a bigger size so they should do really well but that is it from here i got four pairs of pants and a pair of crocs going to the next store look at her total dollar 59 the world Oh, she's so proud. Only the Look best back. thrifters get their total down yeah. that low. Goodbye. Look at your Number hair. four. She got buck wild hair. I love it. We were talking about that in the car. I was like sticking all over. Get you throat. some sunglasses. Pull it back. That's what I do. My hair would be wild too. The doors are open. I don't know if we're going to have air. Ooh, probably not. Blue, take a picture. blue green. Yeah, we got to take a picture because we don't remember. Furniture. It is jam-packed in here. So and I really didn't think it was going to be. I'm the only one that grabbed a buggy, so I guess... They you got a baby no buggy. They have no expectations, I guess. I do. I'm going to get one because I, I need to get something. Show these prices again. So purple is regular price and a Wilson leather jacket in the south where it's hot 90% of the year. Holy moly. Yeah. I don't think so. What are... <laughs> what are those? Little lobsters is what it looks like. Why are they orange? <laughs> and then look at... <laughs> wow. They match your shirt. You should wear them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did just come across these. AG Adriana Goldschmidt, but these are the Phoebe and they're a size 31 regular. So I like these a lot, no puckering and they're in really good condition. They are $6.99 on a white tag, which is still regular price, but that's cheaper than my Goodwill on their jeans. So I'm gonna take these. All yeah, right, these this. are the last two pieces I'm gonna grab. It's a DKNY, and it is uh, new with tags, and green is half off, so I'm going to get it for five. Did you find a hole in that? I is that why? Let me update my hole. That's fine. You're so funny. All right. Jesse probably did put this back. And this then I found uh -oh. J Crew 100% cashmere. It is a size small, but it's beautiful, and it's short sleeve, and... I just want the thrift store to know how much I appreciate where they put this tag. <laughs> they put the tag through the tag underneath. Oh yeah. So how no nice is this? Yeah. So now there's no hole Salvation in the Army fabric. I'm so happy. And this is 25% off of five because pink is 25% off. So nice. I'm going to get three things. I wanted to buy these Armani jeans right here, but... They're so, if they were 10, I would get them. But they want freaking, where's the dang tag? I won't find it. Oh, forget it. Today's a sad day. It's the last day that Jessie's going to be here. She's leaving in the morning. So it's our last day of hanging out and thrifting together with everybody. Because I can tell you, once she leaves, I'm not leaving my house for like a week. I'm just saying. Like, I miss my dogs and... I miss being a homebody and I have so much work, so much work to do. But it's Friday and Victoria and Jesse are already inside America's Thrift Store over here in Ocean Springs. Alicia and her hubby are on the way. My hubby's on the way because we're all going to eat lunch together at this baby Chinese place that we all love. It's a small buffet, but when it's all good and it's cheap, best place to go. But I'm going to head into this America's Thrift Store right now and see if I can catch these girls. And I stopped at Starbucks and just got me a little baby to take in there with me. 
you know, why not? So the music was so crazy loud in here, but I saw, I always look at the glasses and stuff when I come in, but I saw that they had put out some wallets and some purses, but this was pretty gnarly and they still wanted $10 for it. It needed a ton of cleaning and I'm just not into that. I also looked at this one. It was pretty clean uh, and they wanted $10 for it too. And I'm going to put it in my buggy, but I'm honestly not going to end up taking it just because it's not even an 8 inch. So I decide I do end up putting that back at the end. I'm going to look at the glasses and then there's also some purses over here on the side. They do have Michael Kors purses over here, but the prices were just way too high for me. I don't pay 20, 30, 40 dollars for a used purse to try to flip. So that's what they were asking for these. That's what they were asking for this one. And it did have some marks on the leather. So I would have to like try to get all those off and try to make a profit. This one is a uh, Loren Ralph Loren. But to be honest, the leather didn't even feel good. And they were asking $30 for it. It wasn't even like a soft leather. It was kind of hard. So I didn't even like that at all just found these two Lacoste and I like them however they priced them at $9.49 if they were priced around six bucks I'd probably pick up both of them I can usually flip these pretty fast for $20 to $25 but I'm not gonna pay $9.49 for them though okay I am gonna take this Harley Davidson full button up for $2.49 I thought it was a misprint. I kept hunting all over looking for something wrong, but didn't find it. Love this pineapple shirt. I'm definitely taking this one. It was also $2.49. So now's the time to buy these funky, crazy print shirts. Found this Harley Davidson women's vest and it was only $5.09. So I'm grabbing that too. And I almost picked up this Patagonia button up, but honestly, I just don't have that great of luck with the button up, so I left it. I also found these runway couture glasses, and I should be able to flip these for probably around $35, maybe $40 for these. So I brought Jesse to my little honey hole in Ocean Springs I've been trying to get into. This place is extremely small, so I'm just going to do like an overview of the store for you because I don't really want to talk because the ladies are like putting stuff out and it is super, super tiny. I'm just going to look around at a couple of things so that you can see, but I do end up finding some stuff here and so does Jesse. I've been trying to get in here for a long time, but can never get the hours right, but we were able to get in today. Now they're not, but y'all know that I sell boxes only or cases only, but I don't think I can get that purple off. Jesse thinks she can. So I said, here you go. You got it. Let's see if she can get it off. Okay, Jesse, are you sad? It's your last thrift store while you're here. Oh, no. This is the last one you haven't been to. Where's the rest of the group? Oh, <laughs> napping and taking care of children. I know, lame, isn't it? Tell them. Tell it's them lame. You're lame. 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 Okay. Thanks for hanging with me. <laughs> See how small it is? This was all open, all the way to the wall. I love selling Allegrias or Allegrias, however you say it, but not gonna pay $13 for them. That's for sure. 
scoped out these uh remember these just so so shoes yeah i thought about those for a hot minute but then i was like eh, no thanks i found this two-piece gold label victoria's secret so pretty nice little pajama set got the top and the pants pretty little details on there with some stars and some circles I think those should do really well. And then look at this little beauty. How pretty is she? Can you guess who the maker is? I'm about to show you. Let's see if you can guess. Who do you think it is? I mean, does this like not scream like 80s to you? Because it does me. Here we go, Jessica McClintock, Gunny Sacks. If you guessed that, you are right. Isn't this a little beauty? Can't wait to get this one listed. And then I found a flax dress. And honestly, I've never found it in this size. It says 3G. I've never found a flax in a large size like that. So I'm hoping that does really well. This next one is an L.L. Bean. It's a very conservative, uh, full button, maxi denim dress with the long sleeves. So I'll be asking for around 40 bucks for that one, just because it is so conservative. And then this is a vintage shapewear piece. So it is for long dresses. It goes all the way down. And this brand should sell for right around $35 to $40 as well. The brand is Crown Et, and you need to make sure you put the hyphen in the middle to find accurate comps on this on eBay for sure. And this is what I'm getting from the Ocean Springs Goodwill. I need some of these racks for my house. This all used to be full of everything. And guess what I just came across right before Jesse and I was getting ready to leave. So I will have not one, but two Jessica McClintocks I'll be leaving with. I love the tail on this. Woohoo! There's your label. Nice. And then we were walking out in the checkout lane, so I got me some boob mannequin. It was half off. So $12.99, half off. I needed that. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Y'all are the best.